Well, what do you think? You're just jealous because you didn't think of it. Barbara, come and see. Barbara! What? Ta-da! What is it? The goat didn't know either. What is it? A Chinese bird scarer. A Chinese bird scarer. <laughs> Can you blow? Can you rattle? Birdie scared. Confusion. <laughs> Confucius, what happens when the wind doesn't blow? <laughs> I thought you were getting the rust off that rage. <laughs> you and your stupid ideas. <laughs> Research. <coughs> Research, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I say, um, perhaps you could help me. Oh, do my best. Right. Now, um, imagine you're a bird, right? <laughs> okay. Right. Now, you are in my garden. Am I sitting down or walking about? <laughs> Either. <coughs> Either. Either. <laughs> now, unbeknown to you, I have rigged a series of tripwires. You hit one with your leg. Not if I'm sitting down. <laughs> well, be walking about, then. It's just the principle I'm trying to establish. It's just the principle. Oh, sorry. Right, I'm walking about your garden, and I'll bang it in one of your tripwires. Right. This sets off the play button of a tape recorder. Oh, yes. Yes. So all of a sudden, as loud as you can imagine, you get this big Count Basie number. Do I? Yes. Now, the point is, would that frighten you? No. <laughs> Why not? I like Count Basie. <laughs> You're a bird, remember? Yeah, well, I don't see why a bird should be frightened of Count Basie. <laughs> no, you're quite right. Scrub around it. No, it's all a bit Heath Robinson anyway. Let's get back to basics. Now, just answer me this one simple question. What do you think is the best way to scare birds? Flashing on the common, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished? Yes. Tom. It's Margot. Yes, it is you. Yes. <laughs> Barbara? Just a minute. Oh, the GPO, I see. Me? No, lady. I'm an eccentric millionaire. I get so many phone calls, I have to carry the phone around with me. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you go in. So you've had to let the phone go. Are things that bad? No. It's just not essential. Not essential, but say I wanted to phone you up. Damn, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> no. I suppose you'd just have to walk all the way around from next door and speak to us in person. Would you tell Barbara it's Margot, please, Tom? Oh, Barbara. That's Margot over there. <laughs> Hello, Margot. Barbara, what have you been doing to yourself? Oh, it's rust. I've been suffering from it for years. <laughs> Yes. Well, let me show you what I've got. Good one. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yes, well, that's what I thought when I bought it, but I'm afraid it was a terrible mistake. Oh. Look, look. Jolly expensive mistake. Well, that's not important. The point is, Barbara, I got it home, I put it on, and I said to myself, Margot, that simply looks cheap and nasty. So I wondered if you'd like it. <laughs> Margot, you are the mistress of the unfortunate phrase. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. I, look, I simply thought of you because, well, I'd have only thrown it away. And I know how difficult things are. I mean, I saw the telephone being taken away. Well, that's all right. I haven't worn the telephone for years. <laughs> Don't be defensive, Barbara. You know very well what I mean. No. Well, this fetish that Tom has recently about making you do without... Surely anything is welcome. Well, I tell you what I would like. Anything, Barbara, you know me. A nice bowl of gruel. I haven't eaten for four days. Very well, Barbara, take that attitude. I was merely trying to be charitable. Look, Margot, when they have a flag day for me, you can put a penny in the box, OK? I should take it. It's a very nice dress. Oh, I don't need hand-me-downs. So be it. I feel totally humiliated, Barbara. If that was your objective, thank you very much. Nevertheless... I know my manners, and I will say this. You are still always welcome to drop in and Jerry and me whenever you feel like it. You know that. All right, Margot, thanks. I'll see you out. Well, thank you very much, Tom. 
Margot? Yes? Give me the dress. Yes. <laughs> That's probably the best way to do it. I suppose you do think of her sometimes. Yes. Oh, have the bag as well. <laughs> Golly, thanks. <laughs> So, I told you I don't want that thing. It's not for you. Well, who's it for? I want it. Why? You see. <laughs> you look cheap and nasty in it. <laughs> Lovely day. This is the day I shall remember. The day I'm dying. This is... <laughs> Tom! Tom! Hello, Margot. How's your fresh egg for your tea? Don't try to butter me up with fresh eggs. I want an explanation. It's a scarecrow. I know what it is. I want to know why you are trying to humiliate me in front of the whole neighborhood. I'm not. I'm utilizing something you didn't want. Oh, yes and thereby telling the world and his wife that Margot Ledbetter's clothes are only fit for scarecrows. But where are all these people, and how do they know it's your dress? Well, I know, and that's enough, thank you very much. I certainly shan't get a wink of sleep tonight, knowing that I'm being abused in your garden. Well, you were being abused in my garden, you wouldn't get a wink of sleep, would you? Tom, either you take down my dress, or I shall call the people. <laughs> And I'm aware that that didn't come out right, but you know what I mean. Oh, oh. Well, I, I don't want to bludgeon you, Tom. Don't kid yourself. I just realised your rotten dress doesn't scare the birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no go. Useless. The birds love this dress. I wonder if Francis of Assisi wore something like that. Are you going to give me a hand now, Tom? Uh, sorry, love. Bit busy. You missed a bit. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Cutting out cardboard shapes. That's you being busy then, is it? Oh, yes, yes. A couple of dozen of these, shaped like hawks, and suspended over the garden, right? They cast their shadows. And it's a well-known fact that the shadow of a predatory bird scares the living daylights out of the little also rans. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. No, I wish you had. It's great, this, isn't it? Everything in our kind of life is a challenge. None of that boring, repetitive bit. <laughs> I mean, the human animal wasn't meant to be a robot. Not meant to be, no. Oh, yeah, well, sure, we don't get much leisure time these days, but who needs it? <laughs> I mean, take Margot and Jerry. You know, right now they're probably lolling about in their Swedish armchairs, sipping martinis, vegetating in front of their colour telly. <laughs> I mean, who'd swap for that? I'm bloody hot! <laughs> something wrong? Yes! I'm sick to the sight of that thing! I'm tired, I'm filthy! I feel 120, I must look 180! Well, why didn't you say? <laughs> well, I just thought you might have noticed. Oh, come on. We've never gone in for all that. There's something wrong and you've got to guess what it is, Robert. Well, you don't have to guess, actually. Just look at me. All right, you're filthy. So what? All right, it's not actually just me being filthy. What really gets me is you chirping away about how lovely it all is. But it is. Well, it isn't today, actually. It isn't today. Oh, of course I'm sorry, love. I don't keep track of dates anymore. Oh, God, it's not that. Oh. No, I actually mean what I've been saying. You're chirping about those birds and I'm stuck on my knees with this thing. All right, all right, very well. I'm not sure I like the term chirruping. But if you mean that this life makes me happy, yes, it does. And I thought it made you happy. Well, it doesn't today. I mean, it did yesterday, probably will tomorrow, but it just doesn't today. But I'm sure there's a joy in everything we do now. What, scraping half a ton of rust off that thing? Well, yes, even that. I mean, even the grotty jobs, I, I find enjoyable. Oh, yes, digging up that tree stump. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm not saying it was easy, but there was a joy in it, albeit a sort of... Savage, primeval joy. You lying hound, you chucked the pickaxe at the goat. <laughs> that was just a move. Well, what do you think I'm in? And if you actually want to know today, this moment now, this minute, if I would rather be sitting in an armchair with a drink or kneeling on the floor getting rusty with that thing, I'd 